right, Ross, welcome to my house. All right, glad to be here. Okay, so this is Hera, the Human Exploration Research Analog, okay. and I just closed the door. We're going to be in here for the next 45 days. Are you okay with that? I guess so. Okay, great. <laughs> well, let me show you around a little bit. This is level one. This is where you're going to spend a lot of the time during the day doing all of your simulation and research activities. Okay. This is going to be your bathroom behind door number one. It's a full bathroom, so you do have a commode, you have a stand-up shower, hot and cold running water. Compared to the ISS, this is pretty luxurious. It's pretty luxurious, <laughs> yes it is. It's one of the few creature comforts that you're really going to have over the next 45 days. All right. Because you are going to be very isolated in here. So we have lots and lots of stuff down here, simulations, and like yep. I said, this is where a lot of the research activities are going to take place. I see a ladder here in the middle. Yeah, the ladder here is going to go up to the second level. Okay. So the second level is sort of your living area. You have your kind of sort of living room, you have your exercise equipment, and then up the ladder is where you have your sleeping quarters. Okay. So. And All then right. over here, uh, we do a lot of uh, behavioral health uh, testing in here, but we also do some physiological testing. So we're going to okay. come in here about once a week. If you'll come into the airlock here, and this is where you're going to have your blood samples drawn. So we don't want you drawing blood samples on yourself. So so we're going to close this curtain here, and we'll have a licensed phlebotomist who will come in, and we'll take your blood. Okay. But you're not going to see that person, you're not going to hear that person, you're going to put your arm through a curtain and that person is just going to, can't see them, they're just going to give you some hand signals and let you know exactly what they need you to do without ever telling you so they can get the blood out of that So vein. there's no audible contact, there's no, no audible, visual contact, no visual it's contact. just draw some blood through a it's, hole in a curtain. Exactly, wow. exactly. Okay. Are you in for that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one of the things I'm confused by is that you're working on psychological testing here. So how does that get us to Mars? So we do a lot of behavioral health and performance testing in here, a lot of basic research. And what that does is informs us on things that we can do to better support the astronauts, the people who are going to go on those really long duration missions, how they're going to work together as a team, how they're not going to get lonely, all of the things that we need to do to support them while they're away from friends and family for a very, very long period of time. Well, I don't know if I'll ever, ever have a chance to get to space, but hopefully with the research that you're doing, the rest of your team, many more people will be able to get out there. We certainly hope so. Thank you.